Namaste, gods, goddesses, and emissaries of light. This is Dr. Shreya Tayen. If you're new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and do not forget to hit the notification bell so you can be updated on my latest and my current videos. Okay, I am about to get into a heavy reading, okay? And I ask that you, if you are easily triggered, well, for some of you that are new, if you're not grounded spiritually, I ask that you do leave this reading because I will trigger you with some of the information that is going to be delivered. And for those of you that are used to me and are my normal patrons that come and occupy and share space, love and light with me, thank you for staying. I'm going to go ahead and call in some help and then we'll get right into this juicy reading because it is very juicy, very deep. I call in all six elements, I call in air, fire, water, earth, spirit, and ether. And I also call upon the highest of the highest of the high, which is Yad Vahe, to be able to give me the necessary information that is needed for this reading in all time directions and space, parallel universes, sub dimensions, all dimensions, parallel universes, all timelines. And so it is. All right, first, let me go ahead and clear. I'm just only going to clear with my kick ass spray today. Kick karma in the ass spray. Thanks for the correction, angels. I'm getting used to it. It's new. And that spray, oh my God, it smells so divine. It smells so good. And the moment that I spray it, I instantly feel my aura just vibrating at the most highest frequency that there is. I love it. I'll have to um, get this out to you guys as soon as possible. As you may know, if you listened to my last video, that I am working on the labels for it now. And I will be so happy to get this to you. And in case you don't know what the Kit Karma in the Ass Clearing Spray does, it clears your auric field, Okay. Um, it clears you from attachments, lower entities, lower energies, thought forms, etc. And as I said, do not get it confused with my violet flame karma clearing attunement because that's totally different. Okay. It's on a whole nother different level. It's more detailed. But in the meantime, in between time, without you having the initiation into the spiritual realm, you actually can do this on your own with this spray because it has my signature in it my approval and approval from my angels. Um, so you can clear yourself, you can clear those around you, especially if you're dealing with people that are negative. I had a situation where my daughter, one day she was on one. I'm serious. Like she was like negative Nancy and everything that was coming out of her mouth was just low vibrational. And I instantly sprayed her and I sprayed my son who she was having a conversation with because he was being negative right with her because he basically lured to her frequency. I sprayed them both and instantaneously he shifted in his conscious awareness. It took her maybe about a minute for her. And after that, they were just like the best of friends. So I know it works. I've tried it on myself. I've tried it on my children, all of them. And I asked them, how did they feel without them even knowing the benefits of this product? They were like, oh my God, mom, this feels like Zen. It feels like I'm in a Hindu temple because we go to the Hindu temple and yes, it's all Zen out there. They was like, man, this feels like me being in the Hindu temple meditating and this and that and the other. I feel so high vibrational. What is that? So I am just really excited about it. It's, I spray it before I do my personal readings. I spray it before I do you guys' reading. It's just bomb. All right. Enough about that. I'll stop running. I want to go ahead and get into this beautiful reading. This reading is very necessary. And as you know, um, I don't like to go into giving like estimates of when things are going to happen during my general readings. Now I will do that on personal readings just because I am reading for the collective and Everyone is not on the same timeline, nor are they, nor do all things apply, okay? 
what applied to one person may vary to the next. And so that's the reason why I choose not to go there. So crowning your reading, you do have the King of Earth. And I'm sensing Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. This card is about feeling free and freeing yourself from control or an abuse or misuse of power. I'm sensing that some of you are in a narcissistic relationship with a narcissistic twin. And this card is showing up when you're not enjoying your life. And right now, the universe is telling you to honor your process. The King of Earth is very satisfied. He has every reason to be. Everything that he touches turns into gold and he does have the Midas touch. His kingdom is secure and wealthy and his people are happy and prosperous. Divine Feminine, this represents you. However, despite any appearances of excess, he is grounded and realistic and enjoys his abundance because he is very wise and careful. The King of Earth is not afraid to be open and candid when it comes to his dealings, when it comes to his feelings, and he has no insecurities or emotional baggage that is weighing him down with fear or doubt. He's only too willing to share his success and give advice when needed without any hesitation on his part. This is a time for you. <clears throat> at this very now moment to put your foot down in your current situation and your connection when it comes to your divine masculine. And although this twin flame journey is about unconditional love, unconditional love starts with self first. There has to be an equal give and take and re reciprocity when it comes to the relationship. And right now, you're being asked to be clear-minded when it comes to your connection with your union. Do not be fearful if you have to walk away from this connection. And I'm sensing for some of you that that's exactly what you have to do. And just know that if this person really is your divine masculine, oh baby. There is no one, there is nothing, there is no thing that can separate the two of you. Not even physically. And most importantly, you are being called to be free from a controlling relationship where you have not been treated as an equal. I know you know that I'm talking to you. I know that you've been feeling this way for quite some time. You're being told to let go and lighten up your load because you have been carrying this heavy, arduous load for way too long. And for some of you, you have been carrying around not only your karma, but you've been carrying around your twin's karma too. This person, they have to do their own work. And right now the universe is saying, for each man his own, even if you are a woman, you are included. You are just a man with a womb, a woman, okay? It may even be time to <clears throat> let your own light shine <clears throat> without it being pulled from spiritual vampirism, which is taking place in your union at this now moment. This message is for the divine feminines that have been feeling physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually drained after their connection with their divine masculine. You see, psychic attack and spiritual vampirism is very much real. If your divine masculine is not spiritually grounded and he has opened himself up to attachments or her, then chances are when you are connecting with him or her, these lower energies are attacking your psyche and they're pulling from your solar plexus, which is where your light is, you see. For them, it's about survival. They need your light in order for them to be able to exist and they are parasites that bite. You have been bitten literally 
by the love bug. But it is not the type of love bug that comes from above, which is agape love, you see. This is more of a earthly, demonic, low vibrational love. And it is time for you to take back your power and allow for the divine to exist, move, and have its being in you. And I'm not just only talking about this connection, but any connection for this matter. I am speaking of any relationship that is making you feel drained of your energy after contact, whether it be your mother, father, brother, sister, cousin, friend. This is the number one sign that you need to break the connection if you're feeling drained after you interact or connect with this person or persons. <clears throat> divine feminine, you have a divine mission and a calling that you have to execute on and you have to execute on it properly. If the other people or your divine masculine that I am talking about, if they choose to stay on the 3D plane of existence and remain stuck, it is not your job to come and save them. It is not your job to come and coerce or try to catfish the universe and take your spiritual mastery and use it for them, okay? You being the mature one spiritually, divine feminine, <clears throat> you have to continue on with your journey. It is only an illusion that you are walking away. You're not walking away from anything. You can never walk away from the other person because you are the other person and the other person is you. Okay. All right. Moving on to God and Owie. Yes, of course, you know that this identifies with pain. I hope you can hear Bob Marley playing in the background. Everything is going to be all right. Yes, because this card is showing up to tell you that everything is going to be all right. This is a time of sweet surrender and much more needed healing on your part. It's time for you to put your foot up and relax and soak into the restorative power of the universe because you have been hurt by love. And this is not the way that the creator intended for you to experience love. The divine masculine or let's just say masculine, have used the free will card long enough that source has stepped in and has issued a revocation. His free will card has been permanently revoked. And if God rejects <clears throat> something or someone, then so should you. Now is not the time to hold on to those no longer serving us or our best interest, you see. With the new moon and the energy that's coming in from the universe, the universe has given us all a reset button. We have to allow for the karmic cycle to die and in the process, take advantage of the restorative powers that we have and the healing powers that are coming in along with it. You see, after death, there is a rebirth. And a lot of us are in our rebirth processing. Let the new beginnings begin that come along with it and allow the universe and the law of attraction to work out the details, especially if you have already done more than your part. And I already know some of you have done above and beyond what you were required to do because that's just you, you see. So in other words, quit picking at old wounds and allow yourself the time that is necessary to heal. You have the adjacent possibilities, which means that so many doors are about to open up for you and some have already opened. Not even the sky at this moment is your limit. And at this time, the force of habit is keeping you stuck and unaware of your true potential. There is a healthier and happier choice that is at hand. Right now, you're being asked, Divine Feminine, to let go of the outcome and how you want things to pan out and how you want things to be or how you think it should be. Right now, you're being course corrected by source. 
Unlike the indecision card, which is ending your reading and it's in reverse, this adjacent possibility card is here to tell you that you have many options. You have several choices and it's time to take a, a, a wider look, I would say, at this instead of a bird's eye view. And as you consider how many choices that are available to you, it is now time for you to feel empowered and competent and motivated about making these decisions that will bring happiness, strength, and a forward mo movement and motion into your life because you've been stuck long enough. It's time for you to move. Now is the time for you to be conscious of where you want to be and to be flexible and willing to take the necessary steps and the adventure that's needed to get there. Stop being stuck on just one agenda because you are a conscious co-creator alongside source energy. And in the grand scheme of things, you can be shortchanging your own self in the process by trying to manifest this relationship with a masculine who's not even divine at this moment, who's not even putting in the work. The universe is telling you to be open and to move because you're not a tree. Next, you have the community card, which is the three of cups in the original tarot deck. You see, this is in reverse and what it brings in reverse is a feeling of isolation. Perhaps it can also indicate that you're feeling lonely right now. And there's a lot of you that may feel disconnected even from the union and you may feel disconnected from your partner. Some of you are going through a divorce from your twin, or you may be going through a divorce from a karmic partner. A lot of you are in separation from your twin flame, but primarily you are in feelings of loss and grief. But take heart. Right now, you are shifting your energy into a higher vibration. You may need to find someone who resonates with you because right now you may find that you no longer resonate with your twin. And at this time, it may be different from the way that it used to be. And it's okay. You see, the universe is not stupid. The universe is aligning you to your higher vibrations and an exact equivalent match, whether that be in a higher level soulmate or someone that is on your vibrational frequency with all chakras aligned. And if that's the case, it's time for you to move on to a more positive, high vibrational relationship that resonates with you. One that has more of a harmonic resonance to it. A person that sees you for who you are without you having to explain yourself. A person that accepts you for your spiritual mastery and badassery and does not want you to play small in order for them to feel like they can fit in, you see. It's time for you to reconnect with some old associations. It's time for you to connect with some new connections. Start time, start making time to network. Gain a sense of support that you are looking for because you deserve it. You deserve to have the desires of your heart without limiting the universe on how it's going to manifest and what vehicle or person it's going to come through. You will have the happy family because you have the happy family card. And it's also known as the Ten of Cups. This is about a close-knit bond. And the rainbow over this happy family pretends a time of joy and celebration Close connections are available to you at this time. So don't overlook the fun and the frivolity that friends and family can bring you. This is a time to be focused and not distracted by if this union's going to turn out. If this divine masculine, is he finally going to wake up? But remember to put all of your energy, all of your time into the life that is in front of you. Make sure that the friends and family that are connected to you, that are loving you, that are doting on you, 
put those to the forefront. Make them your priorities now. For those of you that are single and you find this card in the spread, it indicates meeting a, a person that is going to be a good vibrational match for you. But this person may have children from a previous marriage and that's okay. You may have a blended family. And for those of you that are in union with your twin, this card basically is pretending that it is a time that is coming up for you guys, like a wedding anniversary or something that is significant to you or your twin, a birthday. This is a general reading and I'm pulling from the collective. So take it as it resonates. If you're wanting to get something more personal, like a personal reading, I advise that you get the Twin Flame Oracle reading, which is more detailed and it will answer any questions that you have or that you may have about your Twin Flame journey. And if you and your twin will experience a 3D union, a physical union in this incarnation and much more. If you would like to know more information about that, please refer to the description box for more details. All right. Next, you have the woman holding the heart. This represents the divine feminine. Right now, you're dealing with family, your love life, your emotions. This is a lot to deal with. This card is a good sign. It is a good sign that suggests that whether you're having family issues or whether you're having problems with your twin flame journey, your divine masculine, it's going to be resolved, okay? You're an intuitive woman or man who understands the emotions of life and you're bringing that awareness into all that you are doing and the karmic rewards are coming through with that and they are going to be tremendously a blessing for you. This card upright is indicating a presence of a confidant or someone that you have taken up as a friend or a teacher that will help to guide you and move you through this loving journey for your family and your emotional issues alike. And even spiritually, this person that you have formed this bond and connection with has a soul contract with you and they're very caring and loving and they resonate with your emotions and your feelings. And this connection for you is good at this time. This person is very instrumental to your twin flame journey. And your love interests, they are on their way. It's coming in for some of you. You are going to come into union with your twin flame. And I will throw this number out here because I just got a date of April the 21st is when I'm going to see a lot of unions just explode because that is going to be the day that is going to happen. Okay. That's what I'm throwing out there. That's my prediction. All right. Okay. You have the victory card. I am pulling for, since this is a reverse. Hmm, here lately, you have not been feeling too victorious at all. And it signals a delay or a reversal of a hope for outcome. Some of you have been hoping to already be in union with your divine masculine. And whether it's your relationship with your divine masculine or if it's a personal um, issue overall, it seems like there has been some type of delay around it. But do not despair right now. You're being called to restructure, re-strategize, and reevaluate and release the outcome that you had your sights set on. And it's time for you to set your sights on another person right now. You see, this card is basically telling you that you're not in alignment for what you want. You're not in alignment to be with your divine masculine at this moment because your divine masculine is not being a divine masculine. He's just a masculine and he's not in alignment with his own mission. Until he gets in alignment with his sole purpose and what he is supposed to be doing and what he has been called for to do on this earth, you cannot be in union. It's that plain and simple. So my advice to you is start doing what you have been called to do. And remember that equanimity of peaceful surrender can often be your biggest 
ally in victory overall and possibly the change that you need for this situation. So step into your divinity and your power. And last but certainly not least, you have the indecision card. Basically, it's in reverse. So there is a plot twist here, okay? So in other words, what it's saying is that this is actually a good sign. I can even tell you right now, congratulations, because this card indicates a new profound freedom from any type of indecision, any type of feeling of being stuck, because this is the hangman in this deck. Um, so there is going to be a new beginning. And there's this new beginning, I'm hearing it's going to bring you so much clarity. The fact that you are going to have this clarity of consciousness to your new direction is a big deal, okay? The fragmented and confused energy that you were sending out into the universe is gone and it's now clear, okay? And, and now you are bringing in this new structure to your plans and in your life, so you have a new direction. You may not have known what to do in times past with your connection with your twin or this journey, but your soul has been trying to guide you all along. And now you are listening to your guidance positioning center uh, service, which is your GPS, your God positioning service. You are open. And now that you are open up, it opens up so much potential at this time to create so much more clear and powerful intentions are being set right now from you. And now you are more clear on your choices. You have new choices now. You have new ideals. You are open to being with a higher level soulmate, okay? Now you are finally, finally, finally moving forward with purpose and personal power. The biggest lesson in this connection with your divine counterpart it's for you to have strength, to let go of connections that are not feeding you, nourishing, or healing your soul. And I have come to the conclusion of your beautiful reading. If you want to see me on the other side for more expensive healing for $11.11, .11, I will see you there. And for those of you that are here for the message and you're internalizing, you're mulling over and chewing over what the information that has been presented to you, thank you. All right, I now wrap you in my love and I cloak you with the light of Christ consciousness. It is a good karma to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a love donation if you feel inclined to, or you can purchase a gift from my Amazon wishlist and it will appear on a channel. Namaste, everyone.